Uh, my name is Gabe Rudiger. I'm from Murrieta, California. Bob Cheney's martial arts and BJJ Revolution. I don't have a specific game plan. Just I, I could go in and finish, whether it's standing or on the ground. Just feel like this is my passion. This is what I was meant to do. So that's why I do it. Knock out our submission, guaranteed. Now this is none other than Gabe Godzilla Rudiger, um, a veteran of, of many fight organizations. We saw him on The Ultimate Fighter. Um, I've known Gabe for quite a long time. He used to be a part of Millennia Jiu-Jitsu out there in Pomona. He used to train with all kinds of great guys like Javi Vasquez, you know, Romy Aram. Um, I'm kind of short on remembering who else tra trained there at uh, the time. John Alessio Tapia. used to train there, Manny Tapia. I mean, there were some studs in that room for quite a while. I had a chance to go down there and train not that long ago with uh, Charlie Valencia and those guys. And yeah, they have a great thing going over there. I think uh, most people know Rudiger for his you know, weight cutting antics on the <laughs> Ultimate Fighter. Yeah. But uh, this guy comes to fight. Yeah, and, and the thing about Gabe is uh, he's a well rounded fighter. You know, there's nowhere when you're fighting Gabe Rudiger that you can say, okay, you know, I'm going to beat him up in the stand-up, or, you know, when it comes to wrestling, he's in trouble, or when it comes to grinding, he's in trouble. He's a well-rounded fighter. He's been in the game a long time. Um, he takes it very seriously. He trains hard, and he, he, you know, he looks to excel in all aspects of mixed martial arts. But you say he's been in the game for a long time. He's going up against a guy who hasn't been, who's a young fighter trying to come up. He be setting himself up for, uh, you know, a big-time disappointment here because he's a veteran. He's a guy who needs to maybe start putting on a winning streak if he's going to take it to the next level, give it another final shot. Well, you know, his opponent, like you said, a young guy coming up who has some skills and some natural talent, and but that's going to be put to the test against a veteran like Gabe Rudiger. Yeah. Darren Chris being escorted by Clever Luciano. Also training the Rafael Cordero Fight Center down the Huntington Beach, representing Elite MMA up here in the Central Valley. Gang of another bunch of gang of a bunch of tough guys behind him, actually. <laughs> also got the Marshall. I'm sorry, the Rhino with him, Doug Marshall, who's going to be fighting later on tonight for a championship belt, I believe. Yep. Uh, Is that fight for the belt? No, it's actually the main event, not for the belt. But uh, there's Dominic Robinson uh, is fighting for the belt at 155. Now Darren has a record of six and three. Half of those fights have been won by KO. He also does have a submission win. And like we said, Andre, he is you know up and coming fighter who is looking to put his talent and his skills to the test against a seasoned veteran like Gabe Rudiger. Yes, he is. And he's a local guy. I'm not mis uh. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout will reach three rounds in the PFC lightweight division. This bout is being brought to you by PokerJoint.com, the fastest growing online poker site in America today. Now, first, to the blue corner. This fighter stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. He went in at 155 pounds. He represents Bob Cheney's martial arts with a mixed martial arts record of 11 wins and only five defeats. He hails from Rancho Cucamonga, California. Please welcome Gabe Godzilla Rudiger. And his opponent fighting under the red corner. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 156 pounds. He represents elite mixed martial arts with a mixed martial arts record of six wins and only three defeats. 
He hails from Lamore, California. Please welcome Darren DC Chris. Jason McCoy. You know, I noticed. I'm noticing that uh, Gabe Ruger is sponsored by Perfect Tan, but his opponent has a much better tan than he does. Yeah, he's by Super Perfect Tan. He has a different sponsor. <laughs> They're a step up, a little bit more expensive. This is an interesting fight. Uh, I'm very, very interested and keen to see what happens here. Let's take a look at Gabe Rudiger and Derek Crisp. If I'm not mistaken as well, Darren Crisp took the fight on a fairly short notice. Uh, Rudiger was scheduled to fight Poppy's Martinez. Maybe three or four weeks though. He's, I, yeah. I know, I saw him a couple weeks ago, he was already training for the fight. Nice. You gotta stay ready. And that's the key, especially being a local guy. I mean, he knows when there's fights here. I would just gear up my training just in case. I have nowhere to travel. He could ride a skateboard here. He's from like, Visalia. <laughs> he's just down the road. Gabe looking for that takedown, using his wrestling skills. And like I said, he's a well-rounded fighter. He gets the single leg, and he nice immediately takedown, starts to pass right. in a side mount, correct? Nice yeah. takedown and pass by Rudiger right off the takedown. Before uh, Chris even uh, could defend it, he uh, started passing the guard. You know, uh, Gabe already moving into mount. Gabe has been taking this fight very seriously. I know he's taking his conditioning very seriously. He's been working with a lot of the CrossFit type training, and there's a perfect type of training for fighting. And he's already looking at right, guillotine Titan at the top. 15. Quick work right there. There's a veteran. <laughs> Gabe pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe's too much. He immediately is pointing to the corner of Darren Chris. And, uh, you know, disappointing for Darren to lose that quickly to a guillotine on the top. And, uh, you know, for Gabe Rudiger, it's a, a, a redemption-type victory. He's been training hard. I mean, he's got Mo Lawal in his corner, you know, some really top guys he's been working with. And you see in the replay, he took got the takedown side, straight in the mount, and the guillotine, I mean, pretty Ask, and uh, he made it look easy. Obviously, it must have been a lot of trash talking because to see a veteran kind of lean over and, and, yeah. and give yeah. it back. You know what? It, uh, to, Gabe's an emotional guy, I'm sure. Now he kind of feels bad. <laughs> now he's thinking he got about emotional it. for a minute. Yeah. Let's throw it into our ring announcer. He's the Iron Man, Tyson Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, three seconds into the first round, your winner, by way of guillotine choke, Gabe Godzilla Rudiger. And, you know, for Darren Crisp, you know, it's a... A disappointing uh, loss for him and you know I feel for him you know sometimes you know, you know when you're young and you have that talent and that skill that comes naturally and then you know you march into a fight like this against a veteran who just kind of puts you away real quick it's just like wow what happened and it's it's, it's depressing it's got to make you work harder it's got to make you 